What is up guys? Welcome back to Dan's Reviews and today I'm back for my final review for Fear the Walking Dead Season 4. This one is going to be for the finale of Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 Episode 16 which is called I Lose Myself. So, um, she is gone. Thank goodness she's gone. Like, seriously, um, I mean, I am, okay, so spoiler warning, I don't want to spoil what, okay, so major spoiler warning if you have not seen the episode yet, Martha is killed off, oh my god, I'm so happy about this, um, definitely one of the biggest highlights of this episode, Martha is killed off, yes, I mean, that's just, oh, thank goodness, so, um, yeah, um, I'm so happy about, about this. This is the best thing ever because she was honestly such a hated character ever since she came on. And it's it's not because she's fearsome, because she's not. She's just annoying. She, she's just annoying to watch. It's like, what are you doing with her character? You're not doing anything. Kill her off already. And yeah, finally, after all these episodes, um of her being a frontrunner uh, villain, she actually gets finally killed off in this finale. So thank goodness for that. Um, that's the one thing I wanted to say about it. But let's get into this episode because we do have a lot to talk about. And uh, this was a very uh, awesome finale in my opinion. Um, I think uh, coming up uh, pretty soon, I'll probably do a season four recap where I give my thoughts on uh, season four and, you know, compare to the other seasons of Fear and just if this is the best season, because I definitely, I, I want to share my thoughts and my opinions on this. But to get into this episode, um, so we start off with Althea. Uh, pretty much she is in the city on her own and she is, uh, you know, she's pretty much just trying to make it or whatever. And then she runs into Martha uh, and, uh, you know, Martha kind of cuts the zombie gym loose or whatever at her, and she goes through some trouble, and she does not manage to kill Martha, because then she, you know, knocks her out when Althea runs out of ammo. So, that was that. So, you, then you get to see Morgan and the others at night. She's watching the tapes of uh, Martha, and Morgan decides to take off to go help her. John is kind of in charge of the group at this time, and, uh, you know, he uh, and the others go to the uh, the gas station or, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, you get to see them go there. You have some quick little scenes, like one with John and uh, June, where they kind of kiss and stuff, and it's just kind of some happy moments here. Um, and then uh, Althea, uh, pretty much, uh, she kind of like goes down or whatever, and they all kind of are uh, poisoned. So, pretty much, they're trying to contact Morgan, and Morgan is not in the best situation either, because he uh, is, you know, first he finds, uh, Martha, brings her and puts her in the back of the car, and then she makes him crash the car, um, and then, you know, she drags Morgan out, and it's just like, oh my god, you know, how is one person managing to do so much damage to this group? It's unbelievable. Um, so she drags him out, and then, uh, she says, you're either gonna kill me and be strong, uh, or I kill you, because one of us is one of us is gonna die and one of us is gonna live. That type of thing. So um, Morgan pretty much does not want to be that guy again, and uh, he finally uh, leaves her, which it was definitely, you know, uh, he didn't kill her, but it was pretty close because then she had to cut her arm off and then she kind of died. So. Morgan pretty much led her to her death, if you really think about it, but um, it was worth it. It, it was definitely worth it, and um, so happy to see her killed off. So then Morgan kills the Walker version of her. Awesome. So Morgan gets back, and then uh, pretty much you uh, he does manage to save the others, uh, even though, you know, once they try to kind of get out... Uh, you have John who shoots the guns or whatever, and you got everybody who's, you know, fighting. And then Althea is, like, down, and then she kind of fires all the uh, the guns from the, her, uh, tr uh, her you know, swap vehicle, her truck or whatever. Um, and then after that, uh, they're getting weak, and then Morgan comes to save them or whatever, and then they all have beer and stuff. Um, and you have, you know, they're just drinking and stuff, and uh, pretty much uh, they're going to be okay and that type of thing. So... 
that was pretty cool. Um, so uh, that was pretty much uh, the uh, the episode. You get to the end, and then pretty much you have Morgan and the others who find a factory, and they're willing to take people in. They're going to try to help people as much as they can and bring people in, just like Madison did, that type of thing. So hopefully uh, this, uh, you know, uh, whole idea doesn't, uh, you know, ho hopefully what happens with Morgan and the others and them trying to take in people just like pretty much the stadium Hopefully it goes right this time and Morgan doesn't sacrifice himself for the others and, you know, the others have to go on after the, you know, um, factory falls or something. Like, hopefully they don't do something like that, um, which I don't see happening. But, uh, yeah, so really, really cool stuff. Uh, good finale. Uh, I liked it. It was good. Frustrating at points, but I was happy that Martha did get killed off. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the finale. I don't think I really missed anything. Um, it was an exciting episode uh, when, you know, it, you know, when the time was right. And, you know, I thought this was a pretty good episode. Morgan with the writing on his uh, forehead as well. That's another thing I kind of forgot to mention. But for the most part, um, that was pretty much it. So, good finale. I'm going to rate this as a very good episode. Um... You know, you guys can definitely make a case that maybe this is a great episode if you really, really enjoyed it. But for me, this was a good episode. And, uh, you know, am I excited for season five? Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what it's got. But, uh, you know, I just I really hope it gets better than what the second half mostly was, except for these last few episodes being, you know, somewhat better. So um, anyway, yeah, that uh, that pretty much uh, finishes my review for the finale. That is it for my season four reviews of Fear the Walking Dead. I hope you enjoyed this season. Uh, you know, this was, you know, a very, uh, controversial season. I mean, you got the death of Nick, you got the death of Madison, you got some really questionable episodes in the second half. You finish off pretty strong, I would say. Um, and then you set up for season five. It's, it was a pretty good season overall. I don't think it was better. I don't, I still think season three is the best season. Um, I even might, you could even make a case that season two is better than season four. You could, you really, really could. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, I still enjoyed it though. It, it was still a good season, but I definitely, you know, even after seeing this episode, yes, this was a good episode, but you can't deny that this season was a bit on the slow side for the majority of the second half, at least the first half was awesome, but the second half, you know, like, okay. So j j just to kind of say, just to add to the end of this video, Episode 9 was okay. Episode 10 was awesome. Episode 11 was, you know, good. Episode 12 was eh. Uh, episode 13 was good. Uh, episode 14 was like, really like, okay, you know. Episode 15 was better. And then episode 16, this one was, you know, a really good finale. So... That's how I view the second half of the season. The first half of the season, honestly, the episodes, pretty much every single one was awesome. Uh, you could make a case for the John and June episode. Maybe it was a little slow to you, I guess. You, you could say that. I, I kind of enjoyed that one more, though, than almost every other episode of the second half, though. So that says something. But anyway, that's it for my review. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys uh, in the next one. Peace out.